um, again, we're in an unusual time, as I said, tale of two cities, where you're going to have potentially the biggest rally we've had in decades, uh, many, many decades, and then followed by the biggest bear market since the 1929 bear market. If I, if I look in the next few months, it's okay. Over the course of the year, um, I call this a tale of two cities. I think we're looking at a an uh, economy that can really surprise people on the downside later on in the year. But I'm, I'm extremely bullish right now. Um, I think this correction we are going through is nearly run, has nearly run its course. And I continue to say we're, we're going to see a melt up into a secular top uh, probably in the first half of this year. And I'm calling for 6,000 on the S&P. So nothing's changed. Um, you know, this last couple of weeks, it's been uh, a bit scary to people, I think. Uh, you know, we came down pretty fast and you've seen sentiment turn very negative as a contrarian. That's for me, a very bullish thing. So uh, I think I think behavior is responding the way I would expect it to in this correction. And I think, um, you know, the other side of the coin is that you're going to see a melt up. It, it, at least as early as, as the beginning of last December, when the markets were sort of back resuming their march to all time highs, you were saying, hey, folks, we're going to have probably a 10 percent correction coming up here. Uh, as I mentioned, you said the S&P could go as low as 4300. Then we had yesterday's epic uh, reversal. It was the third largest reversal um, in S&P 500, uh, at least data that we have on record in terms of washing out and then closing green for the day. And as we washed out, we blew through your 4300 target. And then a couple hours later, raced back up from like 42 something to close over 4400. Um, you then, well, we'll get to your comment about whether that was indeed the low or not. But first, let me ask, what gave you so much confidence back in early December uh, that we were going to get to that 4,300 number? It was a combination of things, certainly. Um, and, and frankly, it, it was not an easy call because I started in early November. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Saying, you know, we're probably due for a, you know, 5 to 10% correction, could be 5% in the S&P and 10 in the NASDAQ. And we had a correction, but it didn't get all the way down there. Lots of things that I was expecting to get corrected didn't get corrected. And right away, people jumped on it and ran again. And, and, you know, that happened three times. And in, in the process, normally I'd be saying, hey, it got close enough, this would be it. But there were just disturbing things, semiconductor, one thing I watch that was not correcting. And I said, you know, those things, everybody loves them. They've got to correct. And there were just other divergences there that told me that in spite of the fact that we came down towards levels I was looking for, that the correction was not over. So it, it really spread from early November in an up and down pattern um, through early January. And I just stuck with it, I would say, and you're right, um, when we had the run up and, you know, in each time the, the year end rally, the one in November, or in, uh, earlier December, I think, each time it, it kind of ran fast and it had several days where it was straight up. And so I had a lot of people saying, you're missing your own melt up. And I, I said, yeah, maybe, but it doesn't look good to me. And, and frankly, probably the thing that tips me off most is sentiment. You know, it was just too easy for people to say the melt up, the melt up. And that's all I heard was my own forecast being spoken back to me. So um, I stuck to my guns and said, I don't think this correction is over. I'm not going to pretend to say I saw what happened yesterday. You know, I kind of said it could get down to 4,300 or 4,400, um, but it often blows through. As you know, stops get blown and margin calls and things. So it goes beyond what you expect sometimes. Um, and yesterday didn't spook me. It spooked a lot of people. Uh, and and I feel like we've, we've now got the cleansing that I was looking for in those earlier pullbacks. 
My question for you is, 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 is now that we hit 4,300, and I, you just said at the very beginning that you find yourself extremely bullish right now, is this pretty much it? Is this pretty much the green light for the melt-up to start and that we're off to the races for the next couple of months, however long you think the melt-up is going to take? Yeah, I think so, as long as you don't hold me to the next two days. I think having a Fed meeting uh, tomorrow, Fed meeting today and tomorrow that culminates tomorrow, um, uh, tells you you may see some surprises in here. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marcus Dan.